These scenes of devastation from the collapse of a dam in Laos have only served to amplify the growing chorus of opposition to the country's vast hydropower ambitions. The ZPNZ Namnoi disaster, the second collapse of a dam in the country in the past year, killed scores while displacing more than 7,000 people in Laos alone. The government in Vientiane sees hydropower as the ticket to economic growth for the tiny impoverished nation. It plans to build some 140 dams in total on the Mekong River and its tributaries in its quest to become the battery of Southeast Asia, according to regional water experts. Brian Isler, an expert on transboundary Mekong River development at policy think tank the Stimson Centre, told VOA via Skype that the collapse is just one of many recent shocks to this plan. I think that this is a signal that um, Laos is struggling with its overall um, development of the hydropower sector and uh, uh, the Lao government is attempting to keep uh, momentum going with the Battery of Southeast Asia because clearly there is no alternative present to um, decision makers in Laos, which is a problem. Um, all of Laos eggs are in one basket on this, this hydropower. Binge. The Lao government has blamed shoddy construction and announced a review of all existing hydropower projects before any new dams are green-lighted, a move welcomed by experts like Isla. In step with the notoriously secretive practices of construction firms in the Lao hydropower industry, the South Korean company that built the dam declined to speak with VOA. Though safety concerns were not their focus, the Mekong River Commission, or MRC, had already recommended a serious rethink of hydropower development on the river when they unveiled an exhaustive impact assessment in February. The landmark six-year, multi-million dollar study warned of catastrophic impacts to the Mekong Basin if present development plans went ahead unaltered. And by 2040, the loss will increase up to nearly 40%. So almost 1 million tonne of fish lost annually with a value of 4.5, 4.7 billion US dollars annually. Not long after these warnings, Lao announced a plan to build yet another Mekong mainstream dam. And just a day after Lao announced its post-catastrophe review, MRC member countries gave their blessing to begin negotiations on a new power purchase agreement for that project. At the February MRC summit, proponents of renewables pushed serious alternatives, arguing options like solar were on the cusp of becoming cheaper, with vastly lower financial, environmental and human risks. But there is no strong indication yet that the tragedy of this latest disaster will provide the shock needed for such alternatives to finally be taken seriously. David Boyle for VOA News in Atapu Province, Laos.